Lakewood Ranch is one of the fastest growing and most desirable communities, not just in Florida, but in the entire U.S. This pristine master plan community features 18 beautiful villages spanning over 50 square miles, plus an abundance of parks, trails, shopping, dining, and activities. But if living in a suburban utopia is not quite your style, Lakewood Ranch is definitely still worth a visit, and we're going to show you why right now. It is 7.30 in the morning. We have made it to Lakewood Ranch and we have a big day ahead of us. We got a lot of spots to take you to today, starting right here with breakfast. Located at 2547 Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, the Granary is Lakewood Ranch's top rated breakfast spot. But in addition to a wide variety of breakfast options and a specialty coffee and pastry menu, the Granary also offers a full lunch menu plus a bar serving up wine, mimosas, and craft beer. We started off our breakfast at the Granary the only way we know how, with coffee. Skylar got the cinnamon latte and I got the black forest latte which is, I think, chocolate and raspberry. Pretty excited? Yeah, it's good. So this place has only been open for about 30 minutes, and it's already filling up, so get here early. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Thank you. Our breakfast order included the breakfast grilled cheese sandwich with a side of fruit, plus an order of bacon, egg, and sour cream hash-ups. As is the case with almost anything covered in bacon and cheese, the hash-ups were delightful. But we both agreed this giant, gooey, grilled cheese sandwich was the star of the show. Oh, look at that cheese. The Granary is open from 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday and is located in the Crowder Plaza of Lakewood Ranch. We just left the Granary and had an amazing experience for breakfast. The staff were super friendly, the service was really fast, and our favorite item was that breakfast sandwich. Now that bread was delicious and it's going to give us the energy we need for our next spot, which we're at right now, which is Triumph. And we're starting our first course now. Located on State Road 70, just east of Lakewood Ranch, Triumph Adventure Course will take you a few miles out into the country. Once you arrive and check in at the front desk, you'll get geared up and will learn the rules to have a safe day in the trees. Visitors will start off on the first of Triumph's five courses, with course one being the least strenuous and the lowest to the ground. But as you work your way through the courses, you'll find that they get increasingly difficult and higher off the ground. We found Course 1 to not be too challenging, but as we hadn't visited Triumph for over a year, it was nice to start off easy to get reacclimated with our gear. While Course 2 does get a little bit higher off the ground, its obstacles remain relatively easy, although we did find a couple to be a bit tricky. Visitors will find at least one zip line on each of the first four courses, in addition to the massive 650 foot long final zip line. We find that the obstacles pick up a notch on Course 3, as they're both more physically challenging and higher off the ground. Course 3 is where you can find one of our favorite obstacles, the rope swing into the cargo net. But before we could even get to this obstacle, our day got cut short, as the thunderstorms were approaching and the course would need to be evacuated quickly. While our Triumph experience did end early on this day, we were provided with free return tickets, which we came back to use the very next weekend. On that day, the weather cooperated, and we were able to make it through courses four and five, which are even higher off the ground and more challenging. If you want to see the entire Triumph experience, including much more of courses four and five, go ahead and check out our Triumph video after this one. Our third stop of the day takes us here to Waterside Place, which is in the south end of Lakewood Ranch. And as you can see, this area is very nice and very new. Now it is still raining outside, but thankfully the next place we're heading is one of my favorite types of places to ride out a rainstorm. Good Liquid is not only known for brewing some great beers, but is also TripAdvisor's number one rated restaurant in Lakewood Ranch. To our surprise, they also offer a full bar, many TVs, and a great outdoor area, which is where we'd be enjoying these. All four of these beers are very interesting sounding, and I'm really excited for them. 
the flight of unique beers lived up to expectations and went down smoothly. Skylar's favorite was the Honey Rye Pale Ale, while mine was the Mixed Berry Jalapeno Cream Ale. And then came the Brussels Sprouts, which were highly recommended by our server and were easily the best Brussels Sprouts either of us had ever had. Next up were the chicken croquettes, which were stuffed with rotisserie chicken and a creamy bechamel sauce and came with two dipping sauces on the side. And while not quite as amazing as the Brussels sprouts, we did really enjoy these as well. Thankfully, there was a brief pause in the rain, giving us the chance to check out the beautiful waterfront and the residents of the lake. Well, we did enjoy a break from the rain, but it is back. Our turtle friend is still here. So we just left Good Liquid and we learned a lot about this area. First, we learned that this is a wet area. So you can go to Good Liquid, grab a beer, and walk around this area. Second, we learned that there's a baby alligator in this lake and also a 12-foot alligator in this lake. We've been looking around for them, but we haven't spotted them yet. We do want to point out that ONA Coffee is right next door to Good Liquid, but sadly we are not stopping in because we have already reached our caffeine limit for the day. But we did try their coffee in one of our Sarasota videos and it was really good. Our post-lunch plans had us exploring some local trails, but since the weather was still not cooperating, we'd once again have to switch things up. That led us to 8113 Nature's Way where you'll find San Marco Plaza and its beautiful Spanish architecture. And I have to admit, the change of plans didn't bother me a bit, as I always save room for ice cream. But Delights is not your typical ice cream spot, as it offers keto, vegan, and artisan ice cream. And to our surprise, they even post the nutritional facts for their ice cream and offer a variety of healthy toppings. After a couple quick samples, we placed our order, which included this huge sundae made with maple waffle ice cream and topped with Heath Bar and whipped cream. So we just left Delights where we had a giant ice cream sundae using their keto soft serve ice cream. Now that ice cream wasn't as sweet and rich as some of the ice creams we've had lately, but it was still really good. Plus after eating all that ice cream, I would normally be stuffed and ready for a nap. But after eating that ice cream, I still feel surprisingly good. With lunch and ice cream out of the way, and the skies finally starting to clear up, it was time to burn off some of those calories. And what better way to do it than with downtown shopping? So we started today way up here at the Granary for breakfast. Then we made our way somewhere over here to go to Priam. Then we went down south to the Waterside Place area to the brewery. We stopped off at San Marco Plaza for some ice cream. And now we're in the Main Street area. Where are we going next? Our first downtown shopping stop took us to 8130 Main Street. So I was really excited to come to Main Street and Lakewood Ranch because they have a Naples soap company. There used to be one in downtown St. Pete, but it recently closed. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more Florida content, be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on. It already smells so good. Since opening its first Naples, Florida shop in 2009, Naples Soap Company has grown to 10 Florida locations. Inside this shop, you'll find a variety of high quality hair and skincare products made with natural and organic ingredients. This is a body butter, so it's real thick. So that feels really nice. Florida fresh. Florida fresh it is. Spray it on your arm and rub it in. How's that feel? Smells good. I don't feel like I need more oil, but maybe. So I really love their shampoo bars here. And I have tried the Moroccan oil. I think Skylar, you like the coconut lime. Yep. Yeah. But I might get one of these. I think it's mint. Yeah, that one smells really good. Or the Sunkist. Yeah, that one also smells really good. They all smell good. I know, they all smell good. <laughs> They also sell the soap bars with the little sponges on top too. 
We got some of those whenever we were on Tarpon Springs. They also have all these different soaps with the loofahs already in them. And if you just want the loofah, they've got those too. After stocking up on some of our favorite shampoo bars, it was time to move on to our next stop, which was just a couple blocks away. Oh, I'm so happy to have my shampoo again. There are really so many cute shops around here. We could like shop here for hours, or at least I could. You could probably sit at the brewery. True. But on this day, we only had time for one more shopping stop, and that would be Suitcase Suites. Once inside this incredibly unique candy shop, we found nearly every type of candy that we knew existed, plus a few thousand types that we didn't. In fact, Suitcase Sweets offers around 2,500 types of candy, originating from six continents, over 60 countries, and 85 different vendors. This is the number one selling bar. We gotta try it. So over here we have the world's hottest lollipop, gummy bear, and peanuts and they are all made from an extract that is 900 times hotter than a jalapeno. Ooh, that's hot. Are you gonna get one? It's between that and the scorpion. Oh, yeah, you can also get a scorpion. <laughs> so Skyler has made his choice. What did you decide on? Scorpion. Oh, I can't believe you chose that. <laughs> While I surely wasn't adventurous enough to eat a scorpion, I was excited to try some unique candies from all across the world. So this is a chocolate egg filled with vodka and fondant. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. No, it's subtle, it's but you can subtle. tell it's there. After sampling the unusual chocolate vodka egg, we browsed through a few more of the unique sweets before making our selections. All right, Jamie, so what did we get? We got a lot of different things. So we've got a couple different candies from the Ukraine, and we've got this honeycomb dipped in chocolate from England, the best seller, and then we've got a bonbon from Mexico. All right, so I got two German fizzy candies, two German taffies, a Manchurian scorpion from Asia, a toxic waste candy, and these four are all Mexican. This one is like a zot. This is a Mexican hot chili powder candy. This is Mexican bubble gum, and this is a Mexican chocolate wafer. For more information on suitcase suites, including hours of operation and even party bookings, be sure to visit them on Facebook. We just left Suitcase Sweets and it's time to try some of our candy and maybe a scorpion. So I'm starting with a German fizzy candy. I think she said it would start off a little chalky, which it kind of looks like chalk. It does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is it getting fizzy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna be foaming at the mouth soon? I might be. <laughs> yeah, it's like bubbling, kind of. <laughs> All right, what did you pick? I'm gonna eat this white chocolate covered peanut butter bonbon thing from Mexico. That sounds really good. All right. Show me the center. It's good, but not what I was expecting. Next, I'm gonna try a truffle from the Ukraine. Oh yeah, this one has some sort of sesame seeds in it. So there's sesame seeds throughout it. I like it. I don't think I've ever had chocolate with sesame seeds in it, but yeah, I think it's good. So Skyler has one more thing he's gonna try. It's not a candy. Scorpion time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're gonna eat that. I've always wanted to try one actually, but I'm gonna have this Mexican fizzy powder candy ready to chase it down with just in case it's terrible. Oh, that was crunchy. It tastes kind of like if you chewed up a sunflower seed with the shell still on it. It doesn't sound that bad. I mean, a little weirder than that, but yeah, not terrible. <laughs> I'm still gonna eat this though. All right, so this is one of the candies I was really excited to try, but because it's so big, I didn't feel like we could have it right before dinner. Now, Justin at Suitcase Sweets says that this is their number one seller. So when we do try it, we'll put it on our Instagram stories. 
So what do you think? Are you a sweet lover like me who would be in heaven in the candy store? Or are you a bit crazy like Skylar who would rather eat a scorpion? Let us know in the comments at the end of this video. But until then, we're gonna show you a bit of the 150 miles of beautiful Lakewood Ranch trails. these trails a lot earlier today but the weather just did not cooperate thankfully though the sun came out for a while and we've been able to show you a little bit of the trails and as expected they are really nice we decided to come back to the San Marco Plaza for dinner because I was craving Thai food We arrived at Thai Spice and Sushi, eager to enjoy two of our favorite Thai dishes, Penang Curry and Pad Siu. The service here was excellent, and we had our meals in no time. Are you ready to eat that? Yes. Looks really good, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> These noodles are like one of my favorite foods. The Thai dinner was a perfect way to cap off a day in Lakewood Ranch, but if you want to see more things to do in this area, be sure to click here right now. Thanks for watching.